Welcome to the vlog. I am fascinated with Ian Abernethy. He is one of my favorite podcasters. And whatever he goes or interviews, whether it's his podcast or another one, Ian Abernethy just hits the spot. Uh, I love it. And I think what he's, when, he talks of, when he talks about uh, karate or bunkai or kata, honestly, I can translate to my system and I, I, I think it's applicable to so many systems, right? I would be hard-pressed to think of a martial artist in any endeavor, even Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And I say even because it's so different in appearance. Uh, that would not benefit from how Ian Abernethy talks about the training program in the martial arts. But his focus is karate, right? And so he thinks about a striking art that was developed. You know, if you think about the history of karate, which I find fascinating. He studied the various Okinawan masters influenced by some Chinese masters, I'm not saying all, all of it is Chinese, we're not talking about that in this podcast, but there was a certain influence on some of the original Okinawan masters and then how other characters uh, took it to Japan and the evolution of karate. So one of the questions he answered in 2018 for Christmas, because Ian Abernethy has this special Q&A for Christmas, which by the way is hilarious because he puts these ads that are spoofed and they're not real. But if you're not paying attention and you don't know, there's an ad that comes in the middle of the podcast and you think it's a true sponsor. And then you start listening to what he's saying and say, what the heck, what, what is this? He exploits the myths, the, the truths. That's why it's so funny, because it's true. He takes the contradictions of our martial arts world and just makes something so brilliant. I mean, honestly, that alone is worth the entire podcast, you know? Like we said, hey, are you tired of your training partners, which in karate is the uke, right? The ukes not collaborating. Hire our uber ukes. Whatever you do, they'll fly off many feet and you look like superhero. Hire our uber ukes. It's unbelievable because he exploits things that are real, right? And that's, it's important for martial artists to laugh and not take ourselves too seriously. But, but in this topic of the pres precepts, so someone said, well, what is your favorite karate precept? And he went to Itosu. Itosu, if you follow the history of karate, is one of the original Okinawan masters. Before Funakoshi, before the making the system something that would be digestible by the Japanese and taking it to Japan. So it was several generations early and he's one of the most important uh, historical characters of karate, one of the original Okinawa and a lot of the karate styles, and I don't know if that's the right word, a lot of the karate systems, a lot of the karate original Okinawan masters can trace themselves to Itosu. I don't think that's all of them and I don't really know it in too much detail, but I am studying it and I think it's a really uh, one of the most fascinating parts of to me, of uh, martial arts history. So Itosu had, is at the core of original karate, said something that is Ian Abernethy's all-time favorite quote, which is, precept, which is, and I apologize for those of you that are really uh, karate history experts and are going to find that I don't repeat the the quote verbatim, so I am very sorry, but he says that karate is not a system to be used to duel another martial artist. It's a system that allows you to preserve your life, to prevent damage, he says, I think, should you encounter a ruffian um, and I think that's the word they use, a ruffian or more than one. Um, and you have to defend yourself. So think about it. Because so much we see in the martial art, including my system, is two people in the same martial art. Pretending, you know. And that's okay because we're helping each other develop. But even karate, if you're used to karate competitions or whatever, go to the origin of Hitosu saying... Honestly, this is not that you shouldn't. 
this is not like a moral precept to say don't use karate against karate people or any other martial artists for that matter. That's not what he's saying. What he's saying is that it won't. And please don't hate me. Please don't hate me because this has a reason. If you're a good martial artist, it's going to work, of course. But what he's saying is it's not developed for that. It's not developed for you to square off against another martial artist and have a duel. You know, so many young people today, when they think of a street fight, when they think of self-defense, they imagine that situation. Square off, let's fight. And that's not it. He said it was a system, not even that allows you to win or fight. He didn't say that. He said it's a system that allows you to prevent injury, to prevent damage to you, to you, should you encounter a ruffian or like someone who wish you harm, wishes you harm on the street or whatever. Should you encounter a ruffian that comes for you, should you encounter a, a, what we would call today a self-defense situation, that could be social or not, this system will allow you to preserve your life, to not die in that, to not be damaged too much. That's what the history says the system was created for. And I am very, very, very sure there are many other systems out there that historically were developed exactly in that context. And yet today, not even today, but even in the generations of masters that have existed in between so that the system is alive today, they did exactly the opposite. They dueled, which is why they became famous, right? No wonder the systems have changed so much. You know, when you, when you wonder about, well, this is exactly how it was originally. That's a very difficult thing, you know. Because in what circumstance would you say, yeah, man, I've been attacked by ruffians in the street a hundred times and I developed this incredible mastery. Your society is not like that, you know. So the martial arts, which is my passion, yet have this tremendous contradiction that is a historical preservation of a system that had to be used, life and death, in a thing that most of us don't have today. It's this weird thing. Now, some people may. Some people have chosen a particular endeavor or profession or area where they live where this is still true. I don't want that. That would be a very stressful life. But if that's your life and the martial arts are a true endeavor for you, that's fine. But it's not a duel. It's not a, a square, a fight. Of course, that rules out all the sport, which you know in other clips I've talked about, I highly respect because it tests you. It's a very good, extremely good training um, aid for a global martial artist that wants to progress. Extremely important. But what it also is telling us is karate was not created for that. He's not saying don't use it for that. It's, morally wrong. That's not what he's saying. He's saying, it's, it may not work, man. I wasn't created for that. I'm not giving you a system to do that. If you want to do it for that, do it. But not giving you that. I'm giving you a system. You're just walking with your family in the street and the ruffians come. You have an ability to protect your life and the life of your family. That's what he was saying. Fast forward all these years, and martial arts and self-defense have nothing to do. They're so different. You see what happened there? Draw your own conclusions. I'm not trying to say anything other than food for thought. I was fascinated by this uh, episode of Ian Abernethy's uh, podcast, which was the QA in 2018 for Christmas, if you want to listen to it. And, um, and that's it. I love it. I love it because I think it's applicable to, to my art, to, to be honest. I don't think my art, my system, was created to do a lot of people. And yet one of the reasons we have it is because one of the masters, or more than one, excelled at that. Historically, I don't even think we would have it if, if that would have been the case. Yet, that's not the origin. So, fascinating. Honestly, just to research these things would be a lifelong endeavor. Really fascinating. Be safe.